Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kerry. What's up? What going? You good? Good. Now today, I, if you notice, there's a little bit different setup and that is because I'll be showing you how I retighten my hair. So if you want to see that or you want to spend some time with me, cause nothing wrong with that, right? Just keep on watching. All right, so let me start by showing you the needle that I'm using. It's a tapestry needle and I bent it and widened the eye of it using heat. I'll show you all the tools I use to maintain my locks in another video. These are some clips that I use. I love them because they have no teeth, so they're comfortable for my locks. And we're gonna get started by um, pulling out the first lock and looping that lock at the end and putting it through the eye of that needle. What I like to do is gather the hairs at the base of the lock, um, all those loose hairs and gather them. All right, for a start, I'm going to go in a clockwise position starting from three to nine. And then from six to 12. So I'm entering from one end going to the other. This time it's from nine to three. And I'm gonna show you this a couple more times. The last one is from 12 to six. So if you notice, we've made the rotation, the full rotation of the clock. Um, if I can go another rotation, I gather, I do that gathering thing again. And then I start again from the top, which is three to nine. Then I go from six, so I'm entering from six and going up to the 12th position. Continuing clockwise, I enter from nine, which is denoted by the red dot. And then I go to the three position. And then you always want to end going down or whatever directions you want your locks to land. So I'm going from 12 to six because I want my locks to hang down. After I'm finished with each lock, I feel it to make sure that there are no bumps um, and don't pay any mind to those little white things. They're the bulbs of my, the root of my hair, the follicles, I should say. And then I just clean up whatever hairs that were caught that shouldn't be. And then I'm gonna move on to the other lock. So I do the same process where I move away the hairs that I don't really need, um, loop the hair and then put it through the needle and gather all the loose hair at the base of the lock. And then I put it from the three to the nine. So you're always starting from three or nine if you're going counterclockwise. Then I'm going from six to 12. That white thing is really, really annoying me. Um, I need to find a way to get rid of those. Then I'm going from nine to three and then from 12 to six. And I'm going to show you again on one more lock so that I explain it in depth. I'm going from three to six. Then I'm going from six to 12. So I'm entering from six, going to 12. Entering from nine, going to three. So the clock, so, so the four points, that's where I enter from, right? So you're entering from 12 and then going to six, and that should complete that lock, right? So just to reiterate, the clockwise rotation, it's the points that you're entering from. So you enter from three, then six, then nine, then 12, as if it's going in a clockwise rotation. Just cleaning up this other lock because I want to keep my parts crispy. Looping the hair and putting it through the needle. 
and then I'm gonna begin another rotation. And again, I'm starting from three going to nine. So the next rotation would be from six to 12. The following rotation would be from what? Nine, right? So it would be from nine and go to three. And the final rotation, enough to make a full rotation, you'd go from 12 to six. All right, so from three to nine, from six to 12, from nine to three, and then you go from 12 to six to end your rotation with your locks facing down. And that's what that looks like. I'm just gonna let you guys watch what I'm doing because I want you guys to just watch it a couple more times. If you want, you know, to see it slower, just go back to the top of the video and go again. Um, but it's pretty easy, just follow the rotation. And the rotation is three, six, nine, 12, and you're entering from the positions of the clock. So it's three, enter from three, enter from six, enter from nine, enter from 12. And just be careful that you don't gather any stray hairs. That is the long lock. If you notice there's a little thin area there, I really need to fix that. But I always clean up my parts before I go ahead and start retwisting the lock so that I maintain a grid. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do at the front when most of my hairs there are short, but I do try. And that's how that side looks, and that's the comparison. I'm not doing the rest of my hair because this is just maintaining the front of my locks. For now, the front ones get a bit thin if I don't do this every two or three weeks. So I just make sure I keep those maintained, but I'm trying to do a eight week retightening schedule right now. Previously, I've done a four or five weeks. So I'm trying to see what my hair can handle in terms of the schedule for retightening. Hopefully, um, I can stick to an eight week retightening schedule. That would be really ideal for me. And it's important to pin locks out of the way so that you do not marry locks to each other. You don't want to get to the end of retightening one lock and realize that you've locked two locks together. That is um, really difficult to undo. If you notice here, I'm doing like a mini palm roll with just my fingers, just to get all of those hairs in before I do each lock. And also something I should mention, sometimes I do not do a full rotation. Um, I would get one and a half rotation so for this for the one where i get half rotation i would go from three to nine and then down from 12 to six 
so that I always end with my locks going in the in the direction that I want, which is down. this is the final one now um, at the front I just went ahead and um, did the rest of them off camera because it was really difficult to film that side for the camera but it's basically the same thing it depends on um, if you're left or right-handed you might go in a counterclockwise rotation for this for, for the other side of your head I'm not sure how you know that works but when I was finished it looked um, pretty decent um, all I need to do when I'm wearing it out now is just to put some edge control and I am good and uh, right this is how I normally wear it out um, if I'm pinning it to the side or at the top as long as my edges are done I am fine um, I don't catch like all those little baby hairs in the locks because um, that's not feasible they're not going to stay in a lock so I just leave them out so that they can do their own thing okay thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video let me know in the comments what type of method do you use to maintain your locks? Is it the interlocking method using the four, three, or even two point rotation? Is it palm rolling? Or do you just let your locks go free? I'd like to know. My Instagram for my locks is carry on lock. For my makeup, it's Caribellum, and my Twitter is Caribellum as well. All right, it's a pandemic out there. Please guys, stay safe, wear your mask and social distance. And until next time, bye.